Good evening, people. Watch from 65, Lisa Boyce. I'm going to give you the gospel. It's in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. Christ shed his blood for all of our sins, past, present, and future, was buried and rose again on the third day, according to scripture. We're saved by grace through faith in Christ alone, not of ourselves, not of works, least any man should boast. It is grace. You got to excuse me. My allergies are acting up. And it's a thunderstorm out there. I don't get it. But anyway, it is grace through faith in Christ alone, period. Not of ourselves, not of works, least any man should boast. It is grace, something we didn't earn, something we don't deserve, that God gave his only begotten son, that whosoever, you and I are whosoever, believe. That's the key word. Believe in him will not perish, but have eternal life. How do you come to that? You admit you're a sinner in need of Christ. The moment you put your faith and trust in Christ and his blood, his shed blood, the moment you accept him as Savior, not only are you saved, but you are justified by the blood of Jesus, rapture ready, which is going to happen at any time, and sealed until the day of redemption, which means you cannot and will not lose your salvation. The Holy Spirit will indwell in you. The Holy Spirit will lead you, guide you, minister to you, encourage you, teach you, give you discernment. That's what he does. He will change you. The rapture, like I said this morning, rapture is going to happen at any time. And the only way to prepare is to be saved. <laughs> Oh, I felt like I was going to sneeze, but I haven't. Okay, so let me give you this article. This, this came out yesterday on RT. And this is strange. But of course, all of this is strange. There's no, there's no surprise. All of it is strange. So, but this... So the U.S. reaches a deal to free detained Americans in Iran. And it says Washington has reportedly agreed to unfree $6 billion of Iran's assets to release jailed Iranians. Now, I just did a video <laughs> about something else similar to this. Now, I had to look for this because I just did a video on from last night stating that The FBI and the uh, Washington here, the United States offered the Taliban a full release of that $7 billion that they took if the Taliban increases military hostilities against neighboring Iran. Now, remember, I did that last night. I had to think about this when I looked at this article, and I'm like, what the heck? Listen to this. Washington and Iran have reportedly come to terms on a prisoner swap in which five detained Americans will be released and the U.S. will unfreeze about $6 billion in Iranian assets. Now, I'm, you know, I'm looking at this and I'm like, okay... Last night, Hal Turner had this thing on where he said that, and I'm going to repeat this. Years ago, when the U.S. went into Afghanistan to fight the Taliban, the U.S. government seized about $7 billion of Afghan money. That was in the U.S. financial system. It's pouring out here. Oh, my goodness. So it says that we are holding that money to this very day. Okay? Okay. So he said, now I'm repeating the video that I did last time. I'm repeating just a little bit of this because I want you to get what's going on here. Now, he said his former colleagues in the intelligence community 
who's working with the FBI Joint Terrorism Task Force, confirmed to him that the United States just offered the Taliban a release of the United States just offered the Taliban a release of seven billion dollars if the Taliban increased military hostilities against neighboring Iran. Now. It's funny that they came out yesterday because this came out last night too. The tentative agreement. This is off of RT I'm reading out now. Off of now. The tentative agreement also includes the release of five Iranians incarcerated in U.S. prisons. Multiple media outlets reported on Thursday citing people familiar with the negotiations. Sleepy... has signed off on the deal. It won't be considered final until five Americans are back on U.S. soil. Which could take weeks, according to the reports. Four of the five Americans have been released from Tehran's even prison, and then, I think it's Even prison, and are currently being detained under house arrest. The White House confirmed in a statement yesterday. The other U.S. citizen was already being held under house arrest. Three of the de detainees were identified. And I'm not going to say their names because I'll mess them up. The two other requested, they remain anonymous. So it was five of them in all. Two requested, they remain anonymous. So... It says here, we will continue to monitor their condition as closely as possible, uh, U.S. National Security Spokeswoman Adrian Watson said in a statement. Of course, we will not rest until they are back home in the United States. Sure, whatever. I mean, I mean they're so full of crap. It's not even fun. She added that the negotiations are delicate and remain ongoing. We will therefore have little in the way of details to provide about the state of their house arrests or about efforts to secure their freedom. Uh, I guess the two of them were accused of espionage. U.S. officials have denied the charges and argued that they never should have been detained. These guys were arrested. The one guy was arrested in 2015 while the other two were apprehended in 2018. Now 51 years old, the one was left out of a 2016 prisoner swap related to Iran nuclear deal and has made public appeals to the Biden administration to negotiate his release. Now, this is where it gets very interesting. Now, keep in mind the video I did last night about the seven billion dollars that was taken from Afghanistan and now the US is negotiating with the Afghan with Afghanistan to start a war with Iran in order to get that money back. Listen to this. The six billion dollars in Iranian funds included in the latest deal are currently held in a restricted South Korean account because of U.S. sanctions. If the agreement is finalized, the money will be transferred to another country, reportedly Qatar and made available to Iran with some strings attached. U.S. officials seek to restrict the money's use for trade purposes that are permitted under Washington sanctions. What in the name of everything is this administration doing? This is really bad. <laughs> the agreement apparently doesn't include any terms related to Iran's nuclear program. 
Washington quit the Iran nuclear deal, known officially as the Joint Comprehensive Plan of Action, in 2018. Biden pledged during his 2020 presidential campaign to revive and strengthen the JCPOA, but he hasn't been successful in doing so since taking office. So they're going to give Iran back $6 billion. With some strings attached, of course. If the agreement is finalized. So the money will be transferred to another country. Probably Qatar. This is the most corrupt thing I've ever... I, I have never... I, I don't even... I can't even comprehend what they're doing. Now, just... I, re, I remind you, last night, I just did a video. <laughs> I just did a video about the Taliban in Afghanistan. And again, I'm going to read a little bit of this, what I, what I said. I'm going to read just a little bit. I'm going to read this again. His former, Hal Turner's former colleagues confirmed to him that the United States just offered the Taliban a full release of that $7 billion if, and here's the condition, if the Taliban increases its military hostilities against neighboring Iran. But yet, they're going to give $6 billion to Iran. You see where I'm going? This is, this, I don't know. <laughs> I am going to link this in the description box and let you read this for yourself. And I'm going to link the article from last night in the description box and let you read this for yourself. This is the most asinine thing I've ever seen and heard of. If anything else comes up, I'll be back on tonight. Thank you.